Oh, hello, and thank you for joining me. I'm Tim Botuk, and this is The Joy of Painting Middle-Earth, a time when we come together to paint the most fantastic landscapes Middle-Earth has to offer, and maybe we'll paint a scary one a time or two. That can be quite fun, you know. Now, I may not be the best painter in the Shire, but I do love it so, and I'd love for you to paint right along with me. So if you're ready, grab your paints and your brushes, and let's go on an adventure. All right, welcome to the joy of painting Middle Earth. I'm Timbo Tuke, of course, and welcome, welcome. Now, we've got our black canvas tonight. That's a very fun thing to do, painting on a black canvas. And I've got it prepared for you already. What I've done is I put some alizarin crimson and some phthalo blue down on the canvas already. So we've got it already wet, and we do, we're painting a wet on wet technique. Why do we do that? Because we were taught how to paint by the Blue Wizard, Bob Ross the Blue. Now our colors we have here, we have phthalo blue, alizarin crimson, sap green, burnt umber, ivory black, or black ivory, I can't remember. We have some medium yellow, and of course titanium white. Now as I said, I've already put a mixture of alizarin crimson and phthalo blue, down on this canvas, and we're just going to come. This is a magical thing we do. We just come into our titanium white, just load it up on the brush, just tap that in. We're using a one inch brush tonight. Oh, and I say tonight, it's a bit late. You see, I've been out at the green dragon. There we go, and I've just come back, and now it's time to get together and do a painting. So what we do is we come in here, I've got that titanium white, and we're going to make this area right here. This is going to be where the light is coming in the most. And we come in and we just work our way out. That's right, work it out, work it out. There we go, and not using these black canvases, it's like magic. When you already put the color down, you can see we have it there. I'm just gonna beat the Sauron out of the brush down in the rubbish bin, that's right. And maybe I'll, I'll give it a wash. There we go, beat the Sauron out of the brush. Come back into our titanium white, there we go. Just load that up on the brush load it up and come back and we come in this is our brightest area there we go and we work our way out there we are just work our way out from there what we're doing is we're making the sky and we've already put that color down so it's very magical very magical on there just come in oh you see we had some blue on there we picked up some phthalo blue but that's okay we're just gonna come in and we're gonna work it out just putting in that sky there just bring it down bring it down that's right oh let's clean that brush again we clean our brush in odorless paint thinner and then beat the sauron out of it right down in the rubbish bin. Let's come back, come back to our titanium white. We're gonna come in here and this is our brightest area in the sky, so that's what we do. We come in there and we just work our way out from there. Do that once more. Come back to our titanium white and we're going to come down here because what we're going to do, we're going to put some water into our painting. That's right, we'll put some water right down here. So we're going to kind of, we're going to imitate that down here. It's not going to be as bright. You see how that works. That's fine, that's fine. All right. Now what we do, what we do is we're going to go to a clean dry brush. That's right. Come into our two inch brush. It's nice and clean and dry. And this is how we drop in a sky real quick. 
And what we do, we're just gonna soften this up. That's right. That's right. We just use that very lightly. We're just softening up that sky. This is a night sky. And what are we painting tonight? Oh, we're painting the misty mountains at night. And why are we doing that? We're doing that because, oh, Strider, you know Strider, Aragorn, he was put on the hunt by Gandalf to find the creature Gollum. That's right, to find the creature Gollum. He had left the Misty Mountains. He was deep in the caves. And old Bilbo, you know the story. He found the ring and he took it. And then Gollum, who had been down there for so long, so long. Let's just beat the Sauron out of that. There we go. We don't want to use paint thinner. Right in cleaning that. Not when we're softening this up. We don't want to do that. But we do want to take out all those brush strokes. And then down here as well. That's right. That's right. There we are. Now, that just gives us a background. We're just going to set this brush off to the side. And as I said, the creature Gollum, he came out and he was looking for that ring. Oh, yes. And Gandalf knew about it. So he sent Strider. Oh, you know Strider. Aragorn. He sent him looking for the creature Gollum to see if he could find him. And that's what we're painting here. Just a night scene of... Oh, Strider looking off at the Misty Mountains, wondering where that creature was. That's right, that's right. So let's come. We're going to come to a fan brush and we want to make a dark, a dark cloud here. So we want that. Oh, we're gonna bring in some, some ivory black. We'll come in here where blue was. And we're going to darken that up with some alizarin crimson. There we go. And we just load up that fan brush with that dark, dark lavender color. That's right. And we're going to put in, we're going to put in a cloud. And we'll just, just circle that in. These clouds are very dark because it's nighttime. That's right. Come in, pick up some more of that dark. Just use the other corner of your fan brush. There you go. And just circle that in. There you go. There we are. We just want that to be very dark. Just roll that in. Roll that in. And you can do more of these clouds. You can do them all over if you want. Knock off some of that paint, come back to it. Just pick it up, pick it up and you just come back over here. We just roll those clouds right into our painting. There we are. Now, we're going to set that fan brush aside. And we'll take the one inch brush we used before, and we're just going to lighten off this, this bottom part of the cloud. There you go. Just roll that in, just work it together. There we are. And you've seen those clouds at night, on those dark nights where the moon is just lighting up the sky. And you put in some clouds. You watch the clouds. Just do that. You want to watch what nature does. And then you go back to your canvas and you try and paint what you see in nature. That's right. Oh, the Grand Professor Tolkien, he had a he had a gift for describing that nature. That's right. And we like to, 
We like to read what he wrote about the stories my grand gaffer Gamgee told me, my grandpappy Took, oh, and my grunkle Mary. They used to tell me stories about their adventure. There we go. There we go. Let's come back. We're going to come to a clean, dry, two-inch brush. And we're just going to lift those clouds. That's right. Just lift those up. There we go. Just lifting those clouds. That's making our sky. There we go. Very lightly just pull that across. That gives us those clouds. Now let's come back to our titanium white. With a fan brush, this is a clean dry fan brush. We're just going to come in here and we're going to load that up on the brush. And what we have, we have, we've got the moon shining through the clouds and it's just got some rays coming down. You know what you call those rays? You call them crepuscular rays. Oh, that's the science lesson for tonight. Oh, the crepuscular rays. I said it right the first time I did. That's all right. Those are the rays that you see coming right through the clouds and they'll shine down and you take it quick. There you go. There you go. Just grab it and pull it down, pull it down. There we are. Now we're going to knock that color off down in the rubbish bin. Just beat the Sauron out of it. Come back, come back, grab some more of that titanium white. That's for sure. That's for sure. Load it up on that fan brush and then just come here and we're just going to come down. Pull that across very quick like there we go. There we go. Now, once we do that, once we do that, grab, we're going to go back to that dark violet color. And we grabbed that old fan brush we were using for that dark. We hadn't cleaned that off yet. And what we do is we just come, we're just going to come across again with a cloud right here. Grab some more. And we just bring it right down this way. There we go. There we go. Got those clouds in our painting and we just lift again, lift and just pull across. There we go. Just pull it down right into the painting. There we are. Now we can take some time to wash our brushes. Now we've got our sky set back there. And what we want to do is we want to put in some mountains. Could be, because this is, this is just happening in the background. So what we do is we take, we take our black, we work it into our our blue that we had there. Oh, and maybe we'll take some burnt umber, work that in, pull it out very thin, maybe a little alizarin crimson. That's right. We want that to be a dark, dark mountain color. Just pick it up and flatten it out. There we go. And then what we'll do is we'll clean off this knife and we'll come back and grab some and put it on the canvas. All right, with a mostly clean knife, we're just going to come across. Just grab a bead of paint and we're going to come here and we're going to do some mountains. So there's some mountains way back here. There we go. Just put those mountains in. Bring that down. And we want some more mountains. So we get another, but this one is coming up. This is our main mountain. Comes up right here. These are the misty mountains. That's right. This is where 
Aragorn, or Strider as he was known at this time, where he was searching high and low for Gollum. That's right. Just bring it down. There we go. And maybe this comes up here. Grab some more of that. And bring it down this way. Then what we do is we come back and we press that dark color. Press that into your mountain. Or into your canvas, I should say. Oh, and you got to watch your finger. My finger ran right through this here. So we've got a little mistake there, but we don't make mistakes. We just make happy accidents. That's right. That's what Bob Ross the Blue taught us. We just bring that up right there. There we go. And we can just bring some more over this way. There we go. That mountain range goes on and on. We just want to put that paint right on the canvas. That's for sure. That's for sure. And we want to color. We want to put a highlight on that mountain. So what we're going to do we're just going to come into our burnt umber there and we'll bring that right in to our titanium white that we had. We just, we don't want to mix it completely. We just want to mix it together, have it marbled. There we go. Just flatten it out. Wipe off that palette knife on a paper towel. And just grab a bead of paint there. There we go right across. And now what we'll do is we'll just, the light is up here. The light source is back this way. So we'll have this coming this way. There we go. We just have these mountains. You let that paint break off your knife right there. There we go. Come back, grab some more of that, and we'll do it right down this way. There we are. There we go, and we'll put one right back here. There we are, and you see you have the lighter spot and the darker side. But we want to come back, grab some more of that titanium white, work that in. There we go. And what we want now is we want to bring this mountain right down in front of these other ones. There we go. Just let that paint break off the knife. And we'll just come up here. And you just bring that in. There we go. Maybe a little more burnt umber. We want to darken that out a bit. But you don't want to completely put it completely together. So this will come down this way. There we go. And we come to this one here. And you just pull. You let that paint break right off the knife. There we go. And if this is going to come, you can bring this peak this way. And right there. There we go. And you see you have your mountains there. Now this, 
There's some light coming right out of the clouds there. So we do want to highlight that. So let's take some of that titanium white. We'll go into some of this blue here. Just grab that on the knife and right here on the edge of this mountain. Right where the moonlight hits it. There we go. Wipe it off. Come back to that. There we are. And we can grab it right here. There we go. So you see where it's just hitting there. And just wipe a little bit of that off. Come back to that white. Put it right into that blue. There we go. And we're going to do it over on this side as well. There we are. So you see you have that. Now, down here this is going to be this is going to be a lake. We're going to put a little bit of a reflection in that lake. So what we want to do is we want to come up here, grab some of that burnt umber. We'll just mix it in, but we want this to be a little darker. Reflections are always a little darker than what they're reflecting. They lose a little bit of the light. There we go. Right there. So we see we have this and this comes down. So what we want to do is we want to make a mirror of this right down here. And that's what we do. We're just putting that in. And we're just putting the color there. We'll soften that out as a reflection, but you'll see. This will come into play later. And you don't have to be real detailed because, again, this is just going to be a reflection. A reflection of what's going on up here. And this comes, there we go. Just scrape it across. And we may cover this up, but for now, put a little bit over there. Just going back this way. There we are. And we'll come back and we'll soften that up and make that a reflection. You'll see. You'll see. Oh, it's turning out nice. Turning out nice. Wipe off that blade. And what we're going to do, we are going to come to a dry... There we go. A dry two-inch brush. And what we're going to do is we're going to tap this in. Because at the base of this mountain, it gets a little misty. That's why they're called the Misty Mountains. And we just tap this up. Follow these angles. There we go. And then change the way, the direction you're going over here. This will come up this way. And this one will come this way. Now what we want to do is we want to put in some trees, some foothills in front of the Misty Mountains. All right, we take our, our dry one inch brush and we're going to come into some sap green here. We're going to 
mix that with that light blue. We'll just come up with this color where the trees are being highlighted by the moonlight. There we go. It's just that light, light color. It's going to go over this dark area here. So we tap that into the brush. There you see. There you see. We tap that in. That loads it up on the brush. And then we're going to come up and we're going to put some foothills right in front of here. So we just, we just tap those in. And you can change the angle with this brush to make it look like different types of trees if you want. But this way we put in a lot of action very quickly. There we go. Just knock some of the paint off that you're picking up and come back to it. There we are. And you want that paint just to knock off the brush right in front of there. Just load it back on the brush. Grab some more of that green if you have to. Load it up, load it up. Come back to your painting. There we are. And you can see these are making a bunch of trees there very quickly. Very quickly you're making trees that you put right on in front of there. There we go, bring that up. There we are. Just bring that back. And you can see you have different types of trees in here. Lighten it up with some of the titanium white. There we go. There we go. You just put that in and you've got some trees and bushes and things in there. And let's come to the other side. Let's bring that down a little lower. We'll come to some of that titanium white, some of that blue color, and we'll just give it because the, the moon is shining through here, we'll just give some highlight on these trees. There we go. Just using the edge of the brush. And you just give those a little bit of definition. There we are. Now on this side, they come this way. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to come in and we'll just tap this out now. What we want to do is maybe come in to some of that white that we have and we'll tap that on. This is just going to give some mist at the base of these trees. There you go. Just tap that in right at the bottom and make it that misty, that misty color there. There we go. Just bring that up right into your trees. Right there. There we go.
Now that we have that, we want to come back to a fan brush and we're going to go, since this is a lighter color, we're going to go to a darker color. There we go. So load up that color we had before, that dark color. Just load that up under your fan brush. And we're just going to take this in here. And just do another row of trees here. There we go. And you see that light color we had there before? That just mixes in and it gives some definition between the two. There we go. Just bring it through. Maybe grab a little more of that. That dark color, mix it together. And this gives you layers. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for layers of things here. All right, there we go. Now what we're going to do, we're going to come into another fan brush and just load up some titanium white on there. That's right. What we want to do is we want to come at the base of this and just lift up. That's just giving us some indication of the trees that are there. There we go. Just lift up. It gives us the indication of some tree trunks. And you see, you put that in and you just bring it around, just pull it straight up. There we are. Now we want to we want to grab our fan brush. And we want to come in and we want to make a grassy color. So we just mix some of our sap green with that medium yellow. Maybe a little more. There we go. Just mix that together. Get that light green, that grass that the moonlight is hitting. And then what we do is we're just putting this down right there on the lake shore. And you see that dark is there. So the dark really gives us a lot of things going on. And we'll have something there. We'll have something there at the end. So we don't have to worry about this area too much. But we do wanna we do wanna give this just some grass going on. There we go. And you see that black canvas, that's the fun thing about these black canvases, is oh, they give us so much dark in there. And all we do is we put a little bit of light on there. There you go, and you see that makes all these different things going on. All these different shades of color, and you don't have to worry about putting down a very dark layer because you've already got it down. All right, 
Now we have a lake down at the bottom. We want to put a little bit of reflection in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to just grab our shoreline and pull straight down. Pull straight down. There we go. Pull that reflection down. There we are. We want to do that. We want to do that. Now, knock off some of that color. And what we're going to do is we're just going to come in and we're going to softly, softly, we'll just work this in. Bring this up. There we go. We want that mountain to fill. There we go. We want that to fill our water. We want that color in there. It doesn't matter the details. We just pull it up. Knock off the paint. And we'll come back and we'll smooth this out. There we go. So what we have is we have a little bit of that reflection down there. That's right. That's right. Maybe we want, maybe we want a little bit of that green color reflected in there. Just come back to that where that was. And we put that in. There we go. Maybe make it a little brighter because it's pretty dark at this point. There we go. Just tap that in. Right at the base of that reflection of the mountain. We don't need a lot of details here. This is just water. So knock the paint off of the brush. And then come back and let's give ourselves, pull it across and make the reflection. There we go, there we go. So you see you have those misty mountains. That's what Aragorn is looking upon. And what we need to do is now, we need to put a place where, oh, Strider as he was known at that time. That's right, he was known as Strider. Let's put a place, a perch, where he's looking down over this space. There we go. Just mix up some of that dark color. Take your knife, and what we'll do is we'll just come in here, and we'll just give this as a, a cliff that he is standing upon. Just bring it out, bring it down. There we go. Just covering up this area that you had already put on. There we are. Just bring that down. Grab some more paint. This is going on pretty thick now. And that's okay. Just put that on there. There we go. And we'll give him a spot to be looking out from. So we'll come to our burnt umber. Just bring that down here. Some more of that titanium white. Just mix that together, get it marbled, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to bring this down like this. There we go, we have that earth, that cliff that he's standing upon. Just grab some more, just bring that down. There we go, wipe off the dark, pick up some more of the light.
There we go. All right. Now let's let's come to our two inch brush. And let's just put some grass up on top of there. Let's give ourselves wet that down. There we go. We want to make that a little thin because we have a thick paint that we're going on top of. We just thin that out. Just tap that into your brush. And now what we do is we just come up here and we give this some grass on top of there. There we go. Just mix that in. Tap that on. Get some more green. And come back up here. And that's what we do. We just put some, some grass right on top of there. There we go. Just tap that on and bring that right here. There we go. There we go. Now my grand gaffer Gamgee and my grand peppy took, they told me all kinds of stories about this adventure. And I never forgot them. Never forgot them. There we go. Just put some areas of grass right in there. Just tap it into the brush and then come back. There we are. Now let's let's come. Oh, this is a this is a, what is this? A filbert brush. That's what we're going to take. We're going to take our filbert brush and we'll take our nice dark color and let's put, let's put our strider. He's right here looking out. He's looking out over this edge. And maybe his, his cloak is blowing in the wind. There we go. There we are. And you say, oh, is that Strider? Yes, it is. It's not one of the nine. Let's make his cloak a little more gray. That's right. That's right. We don't want you to confuse him with one of the nine. So what we'll do is we'll come here. This is his cloak. Blowing in the wind.
There he is. And that's Strider. He's looking out over these mountains and he's thinking, Oh, I have to go find Gollum in there. Oh, where am I going to find that creature? Oh, but he does find him eventually. He finds him in the dead marshes. That's right. He does. That's right, he does. He finds Gollum and he takes him to the Wood Elves to hold him prisoner. But Gollum, of course, eventually escapes because he's a stinker and a sneaker. And once we have that color down, we can start to pull it. There we go. And we just... This is his cloak. Old Strider. Very weather-worn. That's right. There we go. And you just paint in the figure, the shape of this ranger standing on the hill, keeping watch. And Of course, he had some long shanks, so we want to make sure we have his, his long boots in there, his long legs. There we go. That's why he was known as Strider, because he had these long legs, and he took these long strides. There we go. His cloak blowing in the wind. Maybe we give a little highlight on his boots there, just on the front. And then down here at the bottom, we don't want him to look like he was floating. 
So he was standing on top of some of that grass. So we take a fan brush and we come back here and we just drop that in. There we go. And there we have it. There we have it. Strider looking out over the long night thinking, oh, I've got to find that creature golem. He searched and searched and searched until he found him. That's right. Strider never gave up hope, and neither should you. And I hope you enjoyed this painting. Oh, these nighttime mountains. Strider standing on the hill looking out over the edge. All right. Thank you very much for joining me. I do hope you subscribe and you like and you comment and all of that. But for now, happy painting. Have a good week. Goodbye and God bless.